Well, how do you do? I guess I have to put a disclaimer out of here that there's some music playing that I obviously don't know rights to, but I am at one of my favorite breweries uh, that you've heard me talk about, New Province in Rogers, Arkansas. And I wanted to have their double IPA. I actually had it uh, last week uh, on tap somewhere else, but I wanted to have it at the brewery. It's double IPA, tasting notes for orange marmalade, citrus peel, flowers in bloom, resinous finish. The hops are Pacifica, Amarillo, and Centennial. Yeah, I couldn't remember the hops last Friday when I had it. So anyways, but they also have uh, a basil version. Here's the regular version. Here's a regular. And here's the basil version. So what they did actually with that basil, it's not brewed with the basil, they put the basil in the keg. So I'm gonna get some notes from the regular double IPA first. Okay, it's a orange marmalade, citrus peel, flowers and bloom, bloom uh, oh, that's tasting nose, not necessarily a nose. I'm getting a lot of big citrus on the nose though. I'm getting that, that orange marmalade and the citrus peel. It's almost like a fresh, fresh orange zest, fresh lemon zest kind of thing. But there are some, some, some uh, resinous notes on the nose as well, some piney notes, some peppery notes. Gosh, I've had this, uh, I, I had a sample of this at a, at, a, at a place with a growler bar called Guess Who. I had a, I had a, a glass of it last week at uh, Brick Street Brews and Rogers, and man, I gotta tell you, this thing is gorgeous. It is $6 for the pour. Uh, uh, they say it's a 10 ounce pour, comes in this little Belgian here. Um, but it is 8.7% 95 IBUs. In the grand scheme of, of craft beer and craft beer taproom prices, I'm gonna call it not bad. For a big layered double IPA that has a lot of flavors. Yeah, okay, orange marmalade, citrus peel, flowers in bloom. I don't know about all that flowers and bloom stuff, but yeah, I mean, it is a lot of big citrus going on. Uh, I'm almost feeling like a lemon zest like notes right near the end. With some slight peppery notes as well. I'm gonna change gears here and try this basil version. Oh, see, that's just flipping awesome. On, on the nose is, is gorgeous because, well, I, I get that citrus, man. I get that, that nice citrus. I get those uh, orange zest, those lemon zest notes combined with that fresh basil. It's got that, that beautiful kind of hobby farm uh, aroma to it. I'm almost feeling some honey-like uh, notes on the nose as well. Oh wow, see this, is, it, it already is a multi-dimensional double IPA to start with, it really is. And then you add that basil, and that that just takes it to a whole other place. The basil itself adds dimension, but the way it combines with the other flavors adds yet another more layer, or yet more dimension adds yet another layer to it all. Wow. You say you just did one keg of the uh, the basil? Yeah, he did one keg, but I think he said there's another one back there. Another one? Okay. But, but it's of the citrus. Yeah. Gotcha. So he's doing different versions of the double IPA. Yeah, uh, last week he had a coffee infused double IPA. Oh, interesting. And then this week it's the, he released the basil. Basil. And I think next once this blows, it's about to blow. So he'll, Is it really? Yeah, he'll introduce the um, citrus peel of double IPA. So there you go. If you heard that, the, there's probably not much left of this basil. So get on down to New Province in Rogers, Arkansas. It's time to be with school. We'll talk to you later.